Hot 91.1, Sam and Edmo for breakfast for Integral Homes, where the only thing left to do is to make yourself at home. Now, we're joined in the studio now by <laughs> some very special guests, a little bit noisy guests too. <laughs> We've got, uh, this is Ocker, you might hear there. He's a sulphur-crested cockatoo. Good morning, Ocker mm-hmm. and partner Ricky. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> and we've also got Alex here with uh, with Fabio, who's a Woma python. Good morning. Morning, guys. Fabio, that's a great name for a snake. It is a great name for a snake. He suits his name very well. <laughs> he certainly is very handsome. And over on the other side there, we've got Becky Jo with April, who's a five-year-old koala. Good morning, Becky Jo. Good morning. Now, <laughs> Becky, that koala, I mean, of all the animals, the koala was making a funny noise before. It sounded almost like a kitten purring. Why would a koala make that noise? Oh, she's just having a nice cuddle and nice and relaxed. <laughs> oh, she does look adorable. She's loving the tunes here at Hot 91.1. That's what it's about. <laughs> she's getting her groove on. Now, the reason why you guys are here today is because something very special is happening at the zoo soon and we can all get involved. So talk us through that. What's happening? We actually have our run (laughs) on the wild side. So it's a either a two kilometre walk or a two kilometre run or even a five kilometre run. So whether you're a walker or a runner, there's something for everyone. Now this is happening on the 3rd of May, Sunday the 3rd of May at the zoo. Now if I'm right, you're going to be running through the zoo, is that correct? It is. We could even be potentially going past the African section, Hello. maybe even Asia. So you may see a few exotic animals as you're going through. Now, the reason you guys have brought that, a cockatoo, a python and a koala in this morning is because they're the, the three most uh, visited or the animals that visit the hospital the most due to yeah. injury, illness or, or being orphaned. Um, you guys have had 57,000 animals through the zoo since you've uh, had the Wildlife Warriors in operation. It's a huge effort mm. and, and I suppose the fundraising initiative of this run is to go towards that. Is that right? Yeah, it is. It, all of the um, proceeds will go to Wildlife Warriors. It's such a great cause. I, the amount of koalas we get in is unbelievable just from being hit by cars and attacked by dogs. So it is a great cause. Now, what about um, April's story? What's April's little story? Oh, April was born at the zoo. So, she, oh, so <laughs> she's a beautiful she's little okay. girl. That We do have a breeding program at the mm-hmm. zoo because being that koalas are starting to be classed as endangered and critically endangered, mm-hmm. uh, we do have a great population at the zoo. But why do you see so many koalas at the hospital? Unfortunately, their homes are being destroyed. So habitat loss is a major problem for koalas. That's forcing them on the ground and then that's where they come into problems. So that's mm-hmm. where they are going into people's yards and being attacked by their dogs. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. koalas don't know road rules. So when they do cross the road, they are being hit as well. Mm, they don't know road rules, but they know how to be so, so cute. Yes, many people from Nambour don't know the road rules either, Stop but um, but they seem to get away with it. Hey, um, <laughs> families and athletes alike can join in the fun, can't they? This is not just for, uh, yes, okay, you can. Um, and, and look, the family, this is a really family fun day. I think that's the focus of it too, isn't it? That it's, yes, it's bringing awareness and, and raising much needed funds for the uh, for the wildlife hospital but it's certainly also about a whole lot of fun what else can we expect to see on the day hopefully lots of animals yeah. running past all these <laughs> noisy after here <laughs> 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 exactly. It's all about fun, exercise and conservation. So yeah, just great. Down. Now, how do we get involved? <laughs> how do we make sure that we can be involved in the race? Yeah, no worries. So what you have to do is go um, head to the Wildlife Warriors uh, website, which is wildlifewarriors.org.au, and just uh, click on the banner there to register. Um, and that registration, that donation will go straight to the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. So um, that money will go towards helping future patients, just like the birds and koalas and snakes like these guys that come in in a bit of strife. A very worthy cause. And these guys, as I said, 57,000 patients, mm. Edmo, these guys have looked after since they've opened their doors. Let's keep the funds coming in and let's make sure they can look after another 57,000 and uh, and keep up the good work that they're doing, not only for the uh, preservation of it, but the conservation of our <laughs> natural wonders. Ricky, Alex and Becky Joe, thank you so much for joining us today with your beautiful, furry, slithery and feathery friends. <laughs> Absolutely. No Thanks for having us.